Welcome to Electra Online. Now here our next example deals with trigonometric functions, the sine and the cosine. And whenever we see something like sine cube of x, sometimes it's better to write it differently. So we use parentheses like this. We'll rewrite it. We write it as the quantity sine of x quantity cubed times the cosine of x dx. And sometimes writing like this makes it a little bit easier to see where your differential, what your differential needs to be. So again, what we can do is take what's inside the parentheses and call that u. So therefore we have u is equal to the sine of x. Then du dx, the derivative of u with respect to x, well the derivative of sine is the cosine of x, times the derivative, oh no, that's it, just the cosine of x. Then we move the dx across, so we get du equals the cosine of x times dx. All right, so now we take a look and say, well, I have my du. If this is u cubed, then my du is this. I don't have to make any more changes. I'm ready to integrate it. This is the same as saying the integral of u cubed du. Of course, when I integrate, I get u to the fourth over four plus a constant of integration. So in the same way, we don't have to do that step. We can simply jump over that. Realize we have u cubed du. So this is equal to the sine of x raised to the fourth power divided by the new exponent plus a constant of integration. Or we could write it as one quarter, the sine to the fourth of x plus c. And it's as simple as that. In this case, we didn't have to make any adjustments. We looked at it, we said, well, we have the proper differential du. So we have u cubed du, or the sine of x cubed times cosine of x dx, which is the differential that we need to integrate it. And again, when you integrate, the differential drops off, and we just integrate this portion of the uh, derivative, uh, of the um, integrand, I should say. And that is how it's done. 